In this tutorial, we'll get a DigitalOcean server, connect to it via specific SSH key, go through some basic account setup, and connect a domain name to the server IP address. Let's go to DigitalOcean, sign in, and click on New Project. A project could be a place to group servers, databases, and other cloud tools. Add your project name and a description. Select a purpose, which I don't think affects anything. You may get some different recommendations based on the selection. Click Create Project and skip moving other resources to it from other projects. Next, find the Create drop-down button at the top right and select Droplets, which is what DigitalOcean calls its cloud servers. You'll get a bunch of operating system options. Stick with Ubuntu for that. In the Choose a Plan section, $40 a month is the default Maybe that is what choosing the web application project option does. In any case, I'm going to scroll all of the way to the left and pick the $5 option instead. Next, choose the server region. I'm going to pick San Francisco, and it makes sense to pick one closest to you. And now we get to authentication options. The two options are SSH keys and one-time password. SSH key involves a little more work up front, but it is worth it not to have to deal with typing a password every time you want to log into the server. So what this allows you to do is to provide an SSH key, very similar to GitHub, which will then be automatically loaded onto the server when you create it. So going with that option, I'm going to create a specific SSH key just for that. Back in the terminal, type SSH keygen and the path and the name of your key. I would like it to be stored in the .ssh folder and call it id rsa omg digital. Press enter twice not to have to worry about a passphrase. Grab the contents of the public key with more command and the path to the public key. Copy the output and head back to DigitalOcean. Click new ssh key, paste the contents and give the key some kind of name. You should now see that SSH key as an option to add to the new server. Scroll all the way down and click Create Droplet. You can see the progress bar of the server being created and when it is done, you should see the IP address. Copy that address and head back to the terminal. We're going to configure the SSH key specifically for this server. In the SSH config file, add new host. Be sure to have an extra line between your other configurations. For now, just add the IP address as the host. Host name is also going to be the IP address. Identity file is going to be the full path to the SSH key. And that is all that is needed for now. Now, just copy that IP address again and log into your server with SSH root at your server IP address and you'll get a warning if this is your first time logging in so just type yes and enter to continue. And we're in. This is your brand new digital ocean droplet. Now you're logged in as a root user which is dangerous for a number of reasons so what I want to do next is to create another user that will use this account from now on. Type add user one word space and your username Michael in my case. It will ask you to create a password. This will be a password for doing things on the server. You won't need it to log in. Confirm your password and add your name. And I just press enter for the rest and verify everything with a Y and then press enter again. Next, modify the user to give it all the root privileges. Type user mod dash a capital G sudo and the name you want to modify. This next command, rsync dash dash archive, will copy over the SSH folder from the root directory to Michael's home directory and update the ownership of that folder to Michael, which will allow logging in right to Michael's account instead of root. With all that done, type exit and enter, which logs us off the server. We can now SSH directly to Michael at and then the server IP address. 
Now, it is unreasonable to remember the server's IP address every time, so what I'm going to do next is go to Hover, which is where I bought OMGineering.com domain name, and link it to the server IP address. Once on Hover, click on your account in the upper right corner and select Domains. From the domain names, I'm going to find OMGineering, click on it, and find the DNS tab on the page. Modify both A records by clicking Edit and pasting your server address in the pop-up window. You don't really need other modifications unless you're dealing with other services like email or CDNs. Now the changes you make here may need some time to propagate through the internet, so in the meantime you can modify the configuration for the SSH key to use the domain name instead of the IP address. Open your SSH config file and update both host and host name to your domain name instead of your server IP address. Save and exit out of the file. Now you can SSH to michael at omgineering.com instead of the IP address. After exiting out of the server, you could add one more bit of convenience by adding your name to the SSH config. By specifying your server username here, you can avoid typing it in when SSHing into the server. So now you can just type sshomgineering.com and get into the server that way. And that's it. You now have your very own DigitalOcean server that is conveniently accessible through a secure shell.